Hi everyone, this is Raleigh with HBF Fitness. We're gonna do a workout that you can do on your own inside or outside. I'm on the patio out here to enjoy the sunshine. So we'll get warmed up. First movement is gonna be practicing the hinge, a good stretch on the backside of our body. So I'm gonna push my butt back, feel a good stretch in the back of my legs, lift my arms, and then stand up tall, squeeze my glutes to bring me up. So feel a good stretch and reach, get those thumbs high, and then stand up tall. So just keep flowing through that one. Feel that stretch. Don't worry about how low you go. And then stand up nice and tall. Good, we're getting a good stretch on the back side of our body here. We're also warming up our upper back muscles, lifting those thumbs high, getting ready for the work to come. Okay, next one, we're gonna warm up for our push-ups and our rows that we'll be hitting. So, I want you to, at the top of your mat, we're back here, inhale, arms up. As you exhale, forward fold. Let's walk our hands out into a push-up position. Now, you can do these off your knees if you need to. Still try to keep body long. Still tuck our toes and reach towards the opposite leg. So, knees down, lower to the floor, press up, reach for the opposite toe or your toes. So we go a push up, I'm gonna press into a down dog, reach for the opposite leg. So I'm balancing on one hand. So we go push up, down dog, reach for the opposite toe. You don't need to touch it. It's just again, opportunity to warm up the body. Shoulders have to balance, get nice and warm for the work to come. Okay, so this next one is a squat and we're gonna reach out. So just descend as far as you feel comfortable. Feet glued to the floor, whole foot pressing to the floor. We're gonna sit back and reach forward. Stand up nice and tall and repeat with me. So we're trying to keep our spine nice and long. We're not curving over. And we're trying to have our knees track in line with our toes. Nice and tall, sitting back. Guys are doing good, this is just the warm up. Okay, we're gonna do one leg at a time so we can get a really good stretch on the back side of our legs. So, I want you to plant your foot. You can pick, let's go left first, right leg back. So this leg is gonna have all the weight. Now I'm gonna just push my bum back so I feel a stretch in this thigh and then stand up nice and tall. Don't worry about how low you go, long spine, Feel a stretch here. Stand up nice and tall. Just stretch the muscle and squeeze. This back leg, just for balance, similar to a single leg deadlift, we're just gonna stretch that muscle and squeeze. Try not to curve over. Keep that knee soft as you push back. Okay, let's swap legs. Other leg, same movement. So this toe is here just for balance. I'm gonna plant this foot, bum back, stand up nice and tall. Hope you're following along. So feel that stretch, stand up tall. So I'm not trying to go low, I'm trying to shift my hips back behind me. You may notice one side's a little bit tighter than the other. No problem, that's why we do both independently. Same movement we used on the warm up, just trying to take our hips back behind us. Next one, we're gonna again plant the left foot. We're gonna do a reverse lunge. This is gonna work the front of our thighs a little bit better. So you can lunge back, knee comes close to the floor, but not all the way, and the back up nice and tall. Now, if you want to, if you want to, uh, variations a little bit more challenging, you lunge back and forward. So we're taking that hip through a big range. Now be mindful to try to keep the knee traveling in line with the toes here. So my hips, knees, toes are squared, and I'm having to keep my balance here. 
You may be tempted to press your hand on that knee. Do your best to keep your hands away. And if you want, you can even act like a sprinter. Okay, let's swap other side. So right foot planted. Again, you can do the reverse lunge if you want. Now, if you need to, you can tap down in the middle. If you're able, you make a big leap. All the way back, all the way forward. My thighs are burning. All right, so that's the warm up done. If you need to grab a drink, you can pause the video and go do so, and feel free to do that at any time. And now we're gonna get on to the workout. We've got push-ups. I'm gonna show you three variations, and then we're gonna work hard at those for a full 30 seconds. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna start with my push-ups off of my knees, and then I'll work my way up to those dive bombers. You can start wherever is best for you, okay? Fingers are spread, and I'm gonna reach my chest towards the floor, and then press away. I'm thinking like I'm a moving plank here. So abs locked in. Glutes on, I'm gonna to go to my toes now. Same movement though, it's just a moving plank. Reach the chest to the floor. So from here, let's go 30 seconds of effort. I'm gonna start with those dive bombers. They're pretty tough for me, but I'll see what I can do. Okay, so we've just done a good job of working our chest, our shoulders, and our triceps. So now we're gonna work the back side of our body. So sometimes we think it's tough to do without any equipment, but I'm gonna show you one that really gets my backside. So we're thinking like a Superman, but also a pull-up at the same time. So I'm gonna lie on my belly, and from here, I'm gonna reach out. I'm gonna think lift up, but then I'll also think like a pull-up. I'm pulling my shoulders down and back, squeezing hard. So that one's pretty tough. Uh, if you want an easier variety so that you can follow along with the movements, just take your hands back and we're gonna just lift up a bit, look forward, and then control ourselves down. So we're still thinking pulling our shoulders away from our ears, but we don't need to contract as hard. It's important here to tuck the tailbone under so that we're getting the movement from our upper back and not our lower back. trying to keep our hips pressed firmly into the floor. Okay, this next one we're practicing the hollow body position. And I'm gonna start you from a tucked position, which is where I'll end up myself. So we're pressing our lower back into the floor. I'm lifting my shoulder blades and my, my legs. Now, if I wanna make this harder, I can by extending one leg. So see, now it's a little tougher. I'm really trying to press my lower back into the floor. If I can't, I bring that leg back. If I can do that one, then I can extend here. Now this one's getting pretty challenging, but I'm able to hold it so I can also reach arms back. So lower back pressed firmly into the floor. If that's too tough, all you gotta do is hold this tucked position, abs crunched, pressing our belly button down towards our mat. Remember to breathe here, but really, really tuck that tailbone under, press your lower back into the mat. All right, guys, it might be getting kind of tough. Just keep it up, keep it up. Hold whatever position's toughest for you. Okay, you can have a rest. Now what's great about this is we just flexed our spine, okay? Now that was really good, we're strengthening our abs, but we really wanna strengthen our backside as well. So I'm gonna press my heels into the floor and I'm going to think about tilting my pelvis to squeeze my glutes. So I'm not trying to come up as high as I can. It's a little bit different than a yoga bridge, but I'm just trying to contract the backside of my body, emphasizing the glutes. So squeeze, hold that position for a moment, and then control yourself down. Your tailbone's the last thing to touch, just like you roll up, give a hard squeeze, 
and then control it down. This is a good one to really connect with the muscle. All right, have a rest there. We're gonna go one more movement. Now, most of our movements have been forward and back today, so I really wanna work the side body. So if you wanna follow along with me, I'm gonna turn my feet towards the left here. Left hand down, I'm gonna point my right fingertips straight up to the sky. Whole time I'm gonna keep those hands pointed straight up. I'm just gonna push my hips to the side as I slide down. Now you don't need to go too low. I can get with those fingers low, but no need. Stand up tall, so fingers pointed straight up the whole time. Feel a stretch, and then stand up tall. Now if you need to, you can bend that front knee. Nothing wrong with that. Just don't worry about how low you go. Feel a stretch, stand up tall. The shoulder is gonna have to rotate in order to point those fingers up high. Okay guys, I'm gonna stand up nice and tall. We're gonna just do the same idea. Toes pointed to the right side now, right hand down. Left pointed straight up. Now we're gonna just shift, fill a stretch. And don't be surprised if one side's a little tighter than the other. That's okay. We're just gonna work both so we can try to balance those out. Really try to keep those fingers pointed straight up. Fill a stretch in the side of your body. And then stand up nice and tall. All right, that's it for the exercises. Now it's time for the cool down. Uh, this one here, we're gonna stretch our quad. So we'll lie on our side and we're going to take our heel towards our bum while keeping our thighs close together. So we'll try to pull our heel towards our bum. As you breathe in, maybe you can pull your heel a little bit closer to your butt. And as you exhale, maybe you can just kind of soften a little bit, relax. hit the other side. So lie down nice and comfortably. We'll keep our thighs together. Take our heel towards our backside. Now as we inhale, maybe we can pull in a little bit. As we exhale, just soften. And a time to kind of slow your breath. Think about the good work you just put in. You just dedicate some time to make yourself a little bit better. Here, we're going to have a seat. So we'll extend the legs nice and straight. We'll see if we can get nice and tall. So we may feel a bit of a stretch in our hamstrings here. So nice and tall, I'm gonna take a deep breath. And as I do reach my arms up, and as I exhale, I'll rotate to the side, look behind my shoulder, and try to stay nice and tall. So as I inhale, maybe I'll grow a bit taller. As I exhale, perhaps I rotate a bit more. Try to stay soft here. A lot of times we clench up when we're stretching and the whole point of doing this is to just soften and mobilize these joints. All right, nice and easy come out of this one. And then we'll just do the exact same thing. Just inhale the arms up. And as you exhale, rotate. Look behind you. We're gonna to try to keep our shoulder away from our ear. Crown of our head nice and tall. We're looking back, trying to stay nice and tall, seeing if we can get a bit more rotation with each exhale. Nice and easy, come out of this one as well. 
Thank you very much for participating with me today. This is the type of workout you can do anywhere, so I hope you return to it often. You'll get better as you go, and if you want, you can add load with a water bottle or books, anything you find from around the house.